So let us just spend some moments now surrendering to God who loves us using an embodied practice, using our breath. I want you to imagine you are breathing in the love of God, the unconditional, extravagant love of God. And as you breathe out, I want you to imagine you are also breathing out that love out into the world around you, into the spaces that you find yourselves now. So we'll just spend a bit of time breathing in for five and out for seven. It's so exciting as well to see that people have an appetite for exploring what church can look like, you know, using things like the internet and in thinking about the world after this pandemic. So um, yeah, thank you all again for, for being here today. And we're so excited to go on this journey together. Patrick in his sermon this morning was talking about the question of why do we gather together as people of faith? I thought I'd ask that question of my friend, Joff. Why do you come to church? And uh, well, yeah, what do you think that church is for? I think there, there's two different things. There's, well, why do we gather as a, as a church and then, and then why are we here this evening? And I love church because I, I believe that the world needs to see a new hope and a new way of doing things. And I believe that's what I see in the church of different people from all over. But for this evening, for why we gather, why I'm interested in this and what we're doing tonight, is I'm interested to see how to connect the church and society, how to bring those two that have become quite disconnected back together and to explore these questions and experiment in how we do that. As a team, when we got together to think about what this service could be, we all agreed that we we really want it to be a place of um, connection and, and relationship. And the other thing that we felt was we really wanted it to be a community that is shaped by everyone. As a team, we came up with a set of values that we feel this, t this service really wants to embody. But also those things are not comprehensive and they're open to being shaped by all of us. Um, and what we want to do after I share these values is to be able to talk about them together and see what we think. So just to give you the, the recap on those, that's a place of welcome, community, learning, faith, and justice. And um, as we start gather, those are the things that we really want to be holding to. Over the next five weeks, we're gonna be looking at each of those values and just going through that as a, as a team and and um, together with, with all of you, hopefully, if you're keen to take this journey with us. And actually, we'd love you all to play a part in this, not to simply be something that we, we lead in, but we'd love to have input from everyone, whether it's in, in worship or, or speaking or hosting or whatever it is, we'd love to see people step up and, and be really involved where you can be or if you feel like you want to do that. Um, because we'd love to be able to share all of our different expressions of what it means to be a Christian in the 21st century and how we're seeking God's heart and loving God and loving Jesus together as one family all united in our, our love for our community and our love for Jesus.